So if you do um, self-inquiry and stay in silence and just inquire as to what's observing, anything that's limited, keep observing and then you'll reach that which is a limitless field of stillness, expansiveness and limitlessness beyond time, beyond location, beyond all. So that's easiest to do in a silent room or in a group of people who are silent. Then the next, you know, I call it, that's the, that's the beginner's level. Then you've got to see, like, can you keep that state when distractions start to come in and not get hooked into distractions? So people start talking. And then you'll notice that something wants to hook in to what's being said. And immediately, as that is noticed, one goes to the observer of that which was interested in hooking in to the voice of another person. And then you see that what is observing that latent interest within the field of the ego, what's observing that is not actually interested in what people are saying. So, so you just take it back and you take it back. And then that which is within the ego, which is interested in what is said, dissolves. And then there's a natural wisdom that actually does not arise from the ego that's listening and trying to analyze, interpret. You dissolve that functioning. So, the, so it's like the state starts to become what you are. Instead of analyzing the world from the location of the ego, you're dissolving that. Each time the ego wants to hook in, just go, what's observing? And then you're just dissolving, going to the ego to interpret the world. And um, also, if you're faced with a career or a, a, what seems to be a stressful career, the, the stress is just within the ego. Career is not stressful. But actually, you are, one of the ways to do it is to find out what are the biggest expectations and outcomes. You, that the ego wants, or what's, can you surrender all of them? Like, unless you have thoughts like, unless I perform, I'll be sacked. So what's observing such a thought? What's observing? Keep observing that, and then you'll find that there's a place which doesn't care whether one is sacked or not. So you dissolve that. And you can still function, you'll find you'll function even better without these, these thoughts which create stress. Also you'll recognize as you release these things you'll start to feel this field of everything will be okay and there's trust. Hey, if this job goes, there's another job waiting. It's not a big deal. So you start to relax and be happy. Chilled out. Oh, the redundancies are coming. 95% uh, of the department is sacked. Great, you know, I'm sure there's something even better in, in store. So you have this kind of laid back. But when, when, the, when the ego has, is very hooked into an environment, then it becomes stressful. Performance, what people, you know, what people think of you. What's observing that which is monitoring the reactions of other people? So that which is observing and monitoring and getting offended or getting jealous or getting hooked in. Each time these reactions occur, well, what's witnessing these reactions? Is the witnesser of these reactions jealous? Does it get hooked in? Is it hookable? Is it capable of jealousy? Is it capable of comparing or contrasting? So then, as you keep dissolving these, you can carry on working, but then one's reactions to rumours of redundancies, or if there's a, an appraisal coming up, performance-related appraisal, is there fear arising, is there thoughts arising? Well, what's observing all of this? You keep observing, and what's observing, if there's an interested observer, what's observing the interested observer? And then you realize there's something that you can be in an appraisal which is not affected by an appraisal, is not stressed by an appraisal. In fact, it's quite relaxed and carefree and is enjoying the whole process. So you find that it's only the ego's 
intentionalities, outcomes, expectations, programs that are being hooked in. Another thing we do here at the group is you can cancel your beliefs. I cancel my belief um, that this, uh, that it's important what people think of me at work. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief, you know, I used to get the thing of like, I cancel my belief if I get sacked I'll never get another job in the, in the city. I cancel my belief. I'm an infinite being. And then you start to connect to an infinite source. You realise this infinite source will always give you something. And actually when you're in that flow, when you're in the the limitless, usually when things drop away from you, it's for the good. Because it's not in alignment with your limitless self. And so something will be attracted which is in accordance with the limitless self. And so it's only out of fear, out of huge... You know, there are, there are things. There, there are also visions, attachments, there's parental programming, societal programming. What's observing all of these programs? Are you being run by the collective programs, family programs? Um, also there's culture. Each company has its own culture. Certain companies are very sort of um, achievement orientated or comparing or create a competitive environment within the thing. So what's observing all of this? And that which is observing the competitive nature of a, of a group or a company environment, is it actually, is that the observer competitive? So as you do that, you'll be able to still show up at work and do things, but there'll be more of an effortless, carefree, and still the functioning can happen, but it, it'll start to happen more from a, a limitless, eternal place, rather than, it's the ego that is analyzing, fixating, stressed, worried about outcomes, driven by fear. So you're dissolving all of that. Each time you get hooked in or triggered or get an emotional response. Another thing to do is if you're in a, a stressful or competitive environment, I would make, one of the things the Course in Miracles taught me was to have some kind of alarm or some kind of reminder every period of time, half an hour, hour, to just unhook from the environment if you're like hooked, even if you've got like a, like an assignment you need to get done, you can always spend like two seconds every hour just to go unhook from everything and be in that place of observing. So eventually as you keep going to work you'll find you'll get less and less hooked in, it'll be more and more effortless and uh, but if you just allow your ego to be 100% absorbed and entrenched with no time just to unhook and go to stillness then you'll never, you'll never get to this state of careless freedom in, in these works. You'll find, so that's the thing of, Hawkins wrote a book, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness. You can transcend, you know, even a company environment will have a level of consciousness. But you can transcend that and still be there. Um, as you do the Course in Miracles, it's found that the environment stops triggering you because you're in that limitless place. Mm -hmm. It's only the ego that can can get triggered. So, one of the things with Hawkins is he lost the startle response. Even if it's a loud noise, there's no startle response. It's like the limitless is not startled. The limitless cannot be shocked. A bit of verbal languaging it does not affect that which is limitless and eternal. So this this so you gradually start to what's called transcend the work environment all the ego investments. So, usually what happens if you stay and, and that which is eternal lights the environment, often performance actually increases because there's no stress, you know. Also, it's a place of infinite creativity and intuition. The thing with being in the limitless field is it's omniscient, meaning it, it's connected to the warehouse of all data of, of everything. So one knows exactly, one starts to become aware of everything. Intuitively one knows what to do, what to say, how to be, what are the problems. One has a, more of a, an eternal global perspective of things, not such a narrow ego 
driven. So one starts to see things in a much more creative field. So actually, it's of great benefit to, to release all of these contractions and limitations that the ego, ego uh, hooks into. So those kinds of things. Also, just, um, yeah.